Today on RC Overload, we install some T-Bone Racing bumpers on our ECX Torment. What's going on guys? It's Matt from RC Overload and welcome back to today's episode. As usual, it's always today's episode. I need to come up with something new. Anyways, we are working on the ECX Torment some more and today we are adding some body protection or chassis protection. However you want to view it, it's protection. Yes, protection. <laughs> so what are we installing? We're installing some T-Bone Racing front and rear bumpers, which I think is going to be perfect for this truck, especially since we're making more of a bashing truck, like an everyday truck. Not a race style. It can still be used in a racetrack setup, but for the most part, these bumpers are going to be great, especially if you're just jumping in your backyard or you're launching it off of 30-foot cliffs or whatnot. These bumpers are going to be awesome for that versus the stock crappy plastic bumpers. So let's get into it, and we're going to start off with the front half today. All right, so what do you get? You get a front bumper, ooh, as well as a top support brace that'll get attached to the bumper and the top part of the ECX Torment, as well as they supplied some hardware. Ooh. All right, so the first thing you're gonna do is mount up the bumper using the four holes, the four screws that are on your chassis. First thing to do is take the old screws out because you're gonna reuse them again. All right, like I said, take those screws and now mount up your front bumper to the chassis. I usually install these in a kind of like a star pattern or cross pattern. That way everything sits evenly and flush. Don't get any crookedness out of it. And then once you've kind of got them a little bit finger tight, go through them all again and just give them a half a turn or so to tighten everything all up. All right, now you're gonna install the upper support brace that'll get attached to the front bulkhead and the front half of the bumper. Uh, you're gonna reuse the two screws that are already there. All right, now we're gonna grab the hardware kit, open that up, and as you can see, I flipped it over to get access to the front hole where you're gonna mount the screw and nut to to hold it to the upper plate. Put the screw through, flip it over, line it up. It may take a little bit of bending, don't worry. These are a little bit flexible. Get the screw through, get the nut on, and tighten it down. Make sure it's nice and tight so there is no play in it. And as you can see, that's what the front bumper looks like. It's pretty sick looking, actually. All right, so the back half consists of a rear bumper, the lower plate, a spacer, yep, a spacer, and the upper plate, or the upper brace, and a hardware kit. All right, first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna remove the screws that hold the transmission mount and the back mount on. Pop those guys out. Next, you're gonna install your spacer and it is set up to look exactly like that bottom area. Make sure the wider of the two holes goes forward. Now install the lower plate using the supplied screws. Make sure that's all nice and tight in there. Awesome, awesome. Now, as you guys can see here, I have removed the back half to the motor mount setup, just leaving that gray piece in there. Um, you can leave them in or you can take them out. I found that it fits better with those pe side pieces off. Uh, it's totally up to you. It's not a big concern if you do take them off. All right, there's still a lot of protection there for the motor, a lot of support there still, so that's your choice. Now, 
installing the upper plate. Again, it's one hole, holds it in place. I'm sorry, two holes, two holes. My apologies. <laughs> two holes mount it uh, using the supplied screws. Now we're gonna attach the actual bumper piece itself. Line it up, make sure everything looks good. Should be. Everything's was perfect on mine. Oops, sorry, my face is in there. I had to see. But now put your two screws in that hold the upper plate to the bumper. Uh, these are the easiest ones to get to, so I did those first. Doesn't really matter what order you do them in. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten those down. All right, and now at this point, I'm pausing for a second uh, just to explain something. One thing I realized when I was installing this, uh, and I should have made a correction at the beginning, but I'm doing it now. When you're installing that back half to the bumper, the actual bumper piece, it may be easier for you guys to actually install that back bumper piece to the lower support uh, first. The reason why I'm saying that is because there is a screw hole that's deep down underneath kind of where the motor actually sits. Uh, and you will need to use pliers to hold the nut in place while you tighten it. If that's not a big deal to you, then continue doing it the way that I'm doing things. Otherwise, put that back half of the bumper to the lower support on first and then mount it up to the car. It'll just make things a lot easier. As you guys can see here, I'm using the pliers because I didn't realize that beforehand uh, to tighten down that screw. But once you've done that, there are two other screws which are really easy to get to. It's just that one that makes it a little bit difficult. So that's, again, your choice in doing it. But either way, get those two screws on, tighten it down, and you should be good to go. All right, and that is the rear bumper. Again, looks great on there. It's very sturdy. And here I'm actually putting a lot of pressure to get it to bend. So it should do very well as far as protection goes. And here is what the front and rear look like on the chassis. Uh, we'll do a 360 here to give you guys an idea. Actually looks great on there. Looks mean, looks tough. Looks like it'll actually do great as far as protection if I hit something or I roll it. Alright guys, and that's it. Very easy. Again, like everything pretty much is with this truck. Like I, the main, one of the main reasons why I wanted to do this truck and upgrade it in the first place was because of how easy it is to do everything on this, even upgrading stuff. But if you guys have any questions regarding installing the T-Bone Racing bumpers into the ECX Torment, as I always say, feel free to ask me in the comments. Uh, or shoot me a direct message, and I will try to get back to you guys as quickly as I possibly can. I say that because my life is always hectic, and I can't always get there right away, but I will do my best. Um, so that's it. Again, I think they're going to be fantastic on there. Next time, we are putting in some shocks, tires, and showing you the painted body that I had just finished painting up for this. And then we can put the electronics in, which I still got to order up, actually. Wow, I just realized that. Huh. Anyways, all right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Feel free to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, like usual. And until next time, guys, I'll see you next couple of days <laughs> on the next RC Overload. Later, guys.